Oh, what's cracking? Real quick, real quick. Play stupid games and win stupid prizes. You know. Look, I just run, use that one, take through that this like, but I really want to talk about because I don't see say as I said, you know, we are delusional in this our delulu. You know, these are our major delulu in this country. Our major delulu in Nigeria is that we wanna win, we wanna play stupid games and win honest prizes, you know, and win intelligent prizes. That's our major delulu. That's our national delulu. The national delulu in Nigeria is that we like to play stupid games. I win honest prizes. You know, that that's the <laughs> that's the national delulu. Ah, why are people talking about uh, Bob's arrest of my life? I'm not here to talk about Bob's arrest. Is it we we don't gloat. If you know we don't gloat, we don't be like we say when they arrest everybody go, hey, they don't arrest they don't. You know, because not only Bob they spray money for Nigeria now. You know, so you know, arrest you know, the arrest with the spray body for Nigeria. I mean, they just enter inside everybody Instagram. Everybody they go J. Everybody is going to the J to pay that fifty K fine. You know. But no, that is not about both consign me and uh, Nigeria what I need from Nigerian government is to fix what thing concern me for this country, our education, our public services, our security. You know, make me I need police number to feel call from my house, emergency number. If something happens, make everybody feel get access to security. You know, what is other one? What would they do to entertain ourselves to use the destruction of our country, catch crews? It's not really my, you know. But everybody, my all right. <laughs> Let me quickly talk about this national delulu we will get in this country. The national delulu is that we want to play stupid games and win honest prizes. Let me tell you something as African people. If you people want to be Europeans by all means, if you gauge yourself by European values and European standards by all means, why do you think you will be exempt from what is happening in European society? Why? Nothing will go manifest for the society we na they try to emulate. We no go manifest for our own society. This life is going to be very short. You people cannot pick and choose. You cannot be European without turning uh, turning white. Whiteness is the culture of Europeans. Now whiteness with their culture. You cannot become Europeans without turning white. Ladies and gentlemen, nano feet. You know, so all these things that they shout for society. Say uh Gabrielism, this society, everybody is doing it. Listen, I never see anything. Una never see waiting, I never see anything. Because if una, if we negate our uh, society and uh, with the complacency, we don't want to see something. De, 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 de. Then, almost Africa will be a direct repli replica of Europe. There's nothing any one of you can do to stop it. There's nothing any of you can do to stop it. And why I not say all of them they lie? You see, the hypocrisy is glaring. We say, as now they complain, reach for here. Everybody in Nigeria is willing to move to Europe and America. Where this thing is there already rampant, where it will be in your face, you cannot do anything about it. The fact that it is so open in Europe and America, and it is not detracting you people from wanting to go to Europe and America. Let me know, say, what are we making noise about? Even I really don't like this thing as that they shout, nobody will want to move to Europe and America. They like them. Um, uh -uh. They like um, why everybody won't move to where it be the capital, the gay capital of the world is where all of you want to run to. Now, one wrong go Canada, now, one wrong go America, 
When I want to go UK, when I want to go France, when I want to go all this place, even when I go there now, it still is happening there. Nobody they hold anybody there. Eh? I don't like what we are doing in this country. I don't like what we are doing in this country. We don't want to really embrace our situation and ask ourselves honest questions. We like all these distractions. Things we know they fix our country. We don't go do anything to better the life of the majority of our people. Because we are not interested, really. We just lie. Because all these energies where I see us exp expanding every day, we feel use them take take move this country forward in more positive ways. In more positive ways, we can use this energy to move our nation forward. We can even right now, where they say they want, in yes, they say they increase <coughs> light money. Today, now they say they increase light money for only certain people where they get 24 hours light. This 24 hours light, I want to know, say 24 hours light for Nigeria just means, say, that they carry light from one area. Give those people new. So we agree so people will get light so that some people can get light. So because those people don't go get light, they don't add all those area money now. Hammer those people will be saying they get light. We're supposed to feel bad for that. If someone go advocate, make everybody get light. And at these same people, is it not the game with the apple for Nigeria? Majority of the people where they sell petrol and diesel, now they also own majority of the disco. As they lose money now for where they say they want they go reduce money of fuel, they want to reduce money of diesel, they are increasing money of lights. The Europeanization of our of African society. There is no half and half in this our adventure. For this our journey, where would it go? So there's no half and half. Is either you are going or you are not going. If that's where we are going, brothers and sisters, then trust me, we are going to get there. It might take 300 years, 400 years, but we can already see where we are going. Except we want to make our own and do something different or do something original. That is African. And they tell many people, say, homelessness for Africa is a European concept. There were no homeless Africans 100 years ago. And they talk, which who one day homeless now? Where you been? Everybody, great grandfather, yeah. If you are my age mate, 40 and above, your grandfather is a homeowner. But it is the Europeanization of housing. Now, you don't turn everybody for Africa to homeless person. It is the Europeanization of agriculture. Now, you turn Africans to hungry people. Africans don't know, know the hungry before. Which will be hunger for Africa. Say, person, they don't feel chop. Hundred years ago for Africa, we get markets where nobody the thief inside. Markets where nobody they watch. You go put your things down for market. You go go, you come back. Nobody go thief anything for day. If they buy something, they go drop the money. They go go. Now the Europeanization of African mind. Now they make Africans begin the thief. Now we have Europeanized love. We have Europeanized sexuality because of romance. And I don't watch romance. We don't accept the European concept of love. Now we don't accept the totality of the concept. It's impossible. It must be like that. Even in America, there's huge, big opposition to uh, the LGBTQ movement. Even in America, there's big opposition. So for Nigeria, I'm not surprised that there will be big opposition too. But the fact will remain the fact that if our society is going to continue to mimic that society, then our society has no other option than to be a replica of that society. All the things that you say are good and all the things that you say are bad, you will accept it. You will accept it. Except you want to create your own original society. Where the concept of what is good and what is bad is also original. See, let me make a tell you now. It's not okay to say you want to create original society based on the concept of your European brainwashing. 
That's the work Africans don't want to do. So we don't even want to sit down and decide what is even good and what is bad. We don't want to decide about ourselves. Or you don't tell you what is good and what is bad. Arab man don't tell you what is good and what is bad. You don't need to think out for your own brain. Say what is good for him? Is he bad? Is he good for you? What is bad for him? Is he bad for you? You don't think of the concept on your own independently. I said just like this whole marijuana uh, illegality for Africa. That marijuana is illegal in Africa. It's part of the Europeanization of our agriculture. Europeanization of our health care. Europeanization of our health care system. We can tell us what is the good medicine, what is bad medicine, what is the... Uh -huh. Now, nobody gets health care. Everybody is sick and dying. Begging online for money to treat preventable diseases. Diseases where they don't eliminate for, for world. Smallpox, polio, polio back in Nigeria. Due to the Europeanization of health, of the healthcare system, rather, sorry. Which African governments don't do independent marijuana research? Show me the independent marijuana research by the Nigerian government. Show me where the Nigerian government came to the independent scientific conclusion that marijuana is bad. Just show me. Never. Oh, you both just tell them it's bad. Yes, sir, it's bad. Now, oh, you both don't tell them it's good. They are in the Senate trying to pass marijuana legalization law. Ooh. Now you both have said it's good. It's, which we, are passing, we, are, we are looking into it. We are looking into it, sir. We are looking into it, sir. <laughs> so our entire concept of right and wrong, good, bad, acceptable, unacceptable, tolerable and intolerable is imposed by Europeans. We are not responsible for any original thought. We are not responsible. We are fully trying to integrate into whiteness. That's why, I tell you now, the integration is there in the value system. Integration. Many of the elites in Africa, their own fight with Oyibo, they say Oyibo not accept them as one. Finish. They don't have issues, say Oibo they kill their brothers and sisters, or Oibo they exploit Africa. They won't make Oibo say we can do it together. We are just as good as you. Because from the time in memoria, Oibo has made their ancestors feel inferior. No matter they serve, where they serve Oibo, no matter how they help Oibo kill African people, no matter how they help Oibo run all the do civil servants for the whole colonial administration, no matter how they help, they don't help Oibo, Oibo no still look them as equal. Now, what's in the pain those ones with that? Your elites. So they are integrationists. Everything they want to do is to show white people that we can be just like you. That's why when they won't jab anybody, they will say you be Bushman. What do you mean say, say you are a Bushman? You say your eye never you never be a Yibo. You know this Richard Milly. You don't be a Yibo rich to wear Richard Milly. Now, even people don't feel afford Richard Milley, go go online, they read about Richard Milley, they learn about the things you cannot even come close to. The things you need in your life, good education that you can get close to. Healthcare, transportation, security, social welfare. Affordable housing, affordable housing. I mean, if you come off your upper house at the age of 22, 21, May you come up for university, move into your own place. Now that one we go there for your past, the 35, 40, 50. Now that one on a like. You know, you go there your past for age of 40. You go there internet, the Google, who is the richest man in Nigeria. <laughs> How much is Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton trainers? You know all the latest name of all the latest brand of everything. We no concern you. Like everybody here today, all the people they talk, they don't catch Bob. They don't catch 
the catching of Bob, what will it do for your life? Apart from Cruz, you can laugh at somebody's downfall. And I know they do that business. Except you do it to me, I can't do it to you. Except a national issue. You know, what's my business is who they have carried and who they have not carried. The people that they need to carry in Nigeria, have they carried them? The people where me and you know say need carrying for this country. The people where we go no need police. Where we say that we go just supposed to go carry them. Have they been carried? They would give us distraction and game. Everybody would go. As I tell them that they go. There is no way in this world that we will continue to follow this path who they follow so and gain anything from it. The integration agenda, integration, you see, at the telling now, everything that your elites are about is integration into whiteness. That's why they hate when we say Pan Africanism. Because what does that mean for African leaders to become Pan Africanist? Means say they're not gonna feel they proud of consuming European things. I did tell you, waiting anybody take the talk say impasse anybody for African society and community from our films. Which how they define success? What does it mean to be successful as an African man? The most successful African man is just the African man that can consume the most imported stuff, the most Western stuff, the man that owns more Western stuff. Finish. Now that integrationist mindset. So often I think say PDD is only happening in America. Not be the PDD confess t shirts designer, designer. Not be the first con tell you now, designer, designer. Not be the bad boy, bad boy. That was the change of hip hop now. Now don't forget, 80s hip hop, early 90s hip hop, late 80s hip hop, now conscious hip hop now. Then are them uh, rock DMC, uh, rock DMC, right? Wu Tang, uh, uh, poor righteous teachers. You know, 80s rap, KRS One, African Bambara, African Bambata to not turn to who he who must not be named. But the Zulu nation will understand. The change of the 90s with the whole NWA bad boy gangster rap coming inside the hard guys. The people will come tell you and say, you must be a hard guy. We have found out that the bad boys are soft boys. So what did they teach you now inside those there? What did they tell us? What do they, in everything, how white can you? What? How much whiteness do you have? That's what the. That's the whole point. Many people from Nigeria don't like the taste of champagne. They, they drink them by force. I'm telling you, they don't like it. They hate and die. They hit and die. But we will form. Everybody, because we just got to. For VI and Ikoyi, there are more international food restaurants than local restaurants. There are more. In fact, those international restaurants, they feel too big to even have some kind Nigerian food for their menu.
You go some Nigerian restaurant, no Nigerian food for the menu. I go say, hey. So that's what we are doing. We are setting extremely Western, a Western agenda for our people, Western agenda for our country, Western agenda for our societies. And then we expect, say, you know, our society no go westernize. It might take a long time, but this is where we are going. And I'm not saying that no one go there, make everybody wake up and pan-Africanize. If you don't want to westernize, it's time to pan-Africanize. But many of them don't want that one. And at the time, now with the same thing where they affect you, you, are, you know, we get that spirit of oppression inside us. That's why nothing they change for this country. They don't hold us down from with the education. They don't put their spirits inside on our brain. Now the same thing where every politician they fear for Nigeria. Now in every common man too, they fear for Nigeria. We make Nigeria never better. And it's simple. If we all decide to stand for Nigeria, how do we get all these things from abroad? Finish. Because we know at the back of our mind. See, if we want me Nigeria are better, the things we Nigeria need, Nigerians must begin to do it. And it will take time. We're going to sacrifice all these our expensive appetites. Mm, because we cannot go and grab other people to be our slave. Exactly. And nobody will pay us to help ourselves. So we must do it. And we must sacrifice. That means we must pay for it. We must put the labor. We must... All the money we will take buy Rolls Royce, we will take drink champagne, we will take do all this holiday, all these things, private jet, all these things. Oh no. All that money will go into what? You said where they come from back, say, so I don't they suffer all this suffer. I don't go enjoy this champagne life. No, me make a die first before I do Nigeria. Me I die first, I beg. Now, waiting the fear of them be that African politicians, Nigerian politicians, they know. They know. See, if they do the right things, they go receive some sanctions. When people go sanction them, they don't go fit travel. When people say, we are sanctioned, don't come to our country. They will cut us off from some luxury goods and items. And they, do, they don't know how to be better than you. Without those things. Now the fact say you know say they get those things and you know get now it make you feel say they better pass you. So if they don't get an call, how they will take and without forming for you, without being better than you, they cannot exist. So there's problem. There's problem. There's problem. Now you whether they behave like this too. Instead of making the think of how to stop this kind of nonsense, you they try your best. So he said, we'll find somebody who will behave like that too. He said, won't become like them. So he said, can behave like that to the next person. Because you think that's the only way to be great. And oh, her for your presence. You see, all the people where you know for your mind say they're great. They don't behave like that. So really, many of you don't really want to be great. You don't really care about greatness. You just want to eat something. Say, I'm going to forget. They go forget everybody. Now lie. They know they forget everybody. Nobody don't forget Lumumba. Millions of people will remember Lumumba in this world till this world ends. He's forever immortalized. Nkrumah is forever immortalized. Fela is forever immortalized. And all these people, what do they have in common? Che Guevara is forever immortalized. George Bush, Obama will die. People will forget Obama. They will never forget Guevara. People will celebrate Che Guevara for the rest of... But they will never celebrate Obama for the rest of humanity. What do all these people that are celebrated... What do they have in common? They sacrifice for the development of their people. So we know how to be great. We know that that is where greatness is. So the one way with the copy, we know what it with the copy. But we like to lie and we like to be hypocrites. So we go to point to necess unnecessary things, like so that those things be the problem. We want the major in the minority. But hey, they arrest Bob, they don't arrest VDM, they arrest Sheung. This one is on the five. That one I say, like say those things have any impact. 
So we like to major in these things to act like we are doing something like we want a better society. So we want a better society. We will say Yahoo boys. We will begin fight Yahoo boys for society. Say now we will complain Yahoo boys, Yahoo boys. Knowing fully well that if every single Yahoo boy in Nigeria is arrested today and locked up, nothing in Nigeria will change. Nothing in Nigeria will change. Maybe not the exercise we need to do be that. Anytime anything happen, ask yourself, see, this thing, what this person do, if they arrest everybody with a duan, every single person, will something change? So, that now how you will know people when you want to make Nigeria better. Those ones that don't ask the question of change, that real question, that hard question, what will this thing change in this country? This thing where they talk about so if all of us concentrate on her, what thing it will change for this country? So nothing will change you. Me, I know that one. Nothing will change. Because before Yahoo Boys did Nigeria, Nigeria don't spoil. In fact, the fact that Nigeria spoil, now it bring out Yahoo Boys. Yes, Nigeria spoil before Yahoo Boys come out. Not saying that Yahoo Boys can't spoil Nigeria. But everybody will, I see the one way they pay me pass now. Nah, don't worry abroad. They'll say, hey, these Yahoo boys are giving Nigeria a bad name. Yahoo boys, then they give Nigeria a bad name. Not be say, people they look your country, say, billions in oil money is made by your country and disappearing at the same time. Your country is not developed. Everybody is desperate. It's the desperation that gives Nigeria a bad name. It is not any single. A, any single act of any single group it is the collective desperation when you see and every african country we are so much 200 million desperate people and many of the people when they complain say yahoo boys are giving nigeria a bad name now illegal paper they take get they are an illegal way they take get paper for abroad though. illegal marriage illegal everybody Anyway, anyway, me I know say African people will soon begin know what the issues be, and we will discard all these charlatans, all these fake people. We don't get anything interesting. I mean, I'm sorry, anything progressive, anything progressive to tell us as African people. And if they pay me gone, they will they pay me. See, at this time, we see the fall for all these things that our situation is not serious enough for us to distract us from all this nonsense. We will they put on top of our head day and night. Whereas those people will really get evil intentions for this country, then they consolidate their power. That they increase their wealth enormously. That they take that wealth, that they increase, they consolidate their power, they consolidate their influence. With the kind of things we want to say they happen for this country. Not be here with them. They say by Nance, person, somebody do, he escaped from police custody. I mean, what did happen? What did cost Sam? Who know how it is escape? But you know Anyway, so let's stop the major in the minor, my people. If we if we continue as we are to hold up European values, you know, because I mean the epitome of European culture is the Catholic Church. If you take the Catholic Church as a microcosm. Look only Catholic Church. Take Catholic Church represent Europe, and the way Catholic Church they spread all over the world. Take and see, say, a uh, na European country na just spread. Say that Catholic Church na European country, and it spread all over. The Catholic Church is like a country, you know, the Vatican. Now look at this country. This country is the most holy country of whiteness. No country is more holy 
in the white world than the Vatican. Now look at the kind of things that have happened. Popes have been assassinated. They have killed Pope when nobody knows what happened. Money laundering has been caught. Pope has resigned because he stole money. Uh, he was involved in financial problems. This last Pope, before Pope Benedict XVI, we resigned. The first Pope to resign in 1,000 years. I Many say, Pope don't resign before. This one is the next one. But imagine the raping of children by this uh, ministers of the church of this country because the bishops are like the ministers. Eh? The ambassadors sent to different countries. How many children have they raped? How are they stealing money, land? What's their behavior? That this thing is happening even in the Catholic church. The most holy people are not even supposed to fuck woman. They say they're the, the near woman. Pope John Bon Pekin. Pope Borgia. Yes, Alexander the which one is the Pope Alexander the sixth? Eh? When the, the Borgia Pope, he had children for Christ's sake. It is so hypocritical. Look at their most holy nation. Look at their most holy nation. I mean, that is the height of European culture. Yet people want to copy this thing to the bone. And you complain when you see it manifesting in your society. But you are the people calling the spirit into your society every day. Calling the spirit into your society every second. Satu is say, Christ's sake, okay. Let, no, it's just an exclamation. English, you know, English language, you need, you need, you need, you need expression. So you have to use some kind things just to, that's lamole. Jesus is one of such. My God is another one. You know, we can't help it. That's how to speak the language. So you people see the culture. That's the culture. Going around the world, stealing from everybody. Why do you think your politicians are so corrupt? Why do you think stealing is so many words there for stealing for Igbo language? So many money laundering, theft, robbery, larceny, uh, forgery, uh, um, uh, misappropriation, uh, uh, mm, uh, fraud, uh, 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 breaking and entering, uh, uh, arm robbery. Uh, uh, Filification, uh, uh, maladministration, uh, uh, all these words is just for stealing, no? tax evasion, uh, uh, there is fraud, there is bank fraud, so many words just for stealing money. Just for stealing money, looting, looting all these words, just for plea friend. Oh, my plea friend, plea, pilfering, pil, a plea, pil, plea friend, <laughs> just for stealing so many words, so many words, so many. In Yoruba, only oh, oh, jali, oh, jali, we don't know oti jali, oti jali, only oh, near. We don't know any other way to explain this thing. So, if we continue to play stupid games, we will win stupid prices. And at the tell now, this generation of Africans, it is our responsibility to use our talents for the development of our continent, it's our responsibility to sacrifice for the development of this continent. We, we, we must be the ones to begin to create the platforms. I'm not saying that we go do the work. Oh, trust me, it is not our work to do. But the go the uh, the mission of this generation is to create the platforms, the political platforms that will bring liberation to Africa. 
and any one of them we know they involved in that process is betraying his own original calling and original mission that's why as soon as they do already if you sleep i know that it's not normal that you are in the club every night every weekend every second every time they happen you are there when you're not in the entertainment industry even if you're in the entertainment industry it is not okay that you are hey, hey. it's because there's something bothering you you are not fulfilled but upon everything will smith talk say in hope say everybody forget the blessing i don't know if not blessing but you say everybody forget the blessing to be able to be as rich as they want and be able to buy everything that they want to buy in this world like him says the moment you have bought everything you want to buy that you have everything you could ever that nothing that exists that you cannot buy maybe that's when you people will understand that happiness does not lay in these european things go and look at the people that are truly honest about having everything they are the most unhappy people because the things that they have sacrificed to get those things are not worth it at the end of the day me and lucky say i meet somebody will let me know that one from the beginning of my life that made me understand that my happiness is within me and not by what i can afford or what i can buy because i was living with somebody that could have bought enough that could afford anything he wanted but he wanted nothing and he told me of the time that he wanted everything and he had everything and how unhappy he made him and now he started taking drugs all the time because of it yes fella was a big cocaine head in the 70s in case you don't know like i'll tell you people that one oha and he tell me oh ha, he quit cocaine and everything when he now understood later in life what happiness was you know so hopefully hopefully something in your life too will give you that enlightenment before it's too late and you sacrifice things that you don't have to sacrifice because you are looking for happiness in the wrong place you know will smith i still watch i watched the interview someone sent it to me and nothing will make us happier than i know african people i know how proud we can be and there's nothing that makes anyone more proud than building something creating something and it is in our joint effort of building this nation that will find true happiness i'm telling you that you'll be working every day just knowing that you are doing something that generations of people will benefit from you are breaking chains that have been put in place for centuries i mean nothing will give you more joy than that trust me that we are these 200 million David slewing 200 million Goliaths all over the world. Nothing more exciting. So, yeah. Let's stop playing stupid games. So, we stop winning stupid prizes. Thank you very much, everybody.